plane? Yep, that's the second one. So the tanker should be right behind him. If it hasn't made a drop. And here's one going the other way. Uh, maybe he dropped it the last time around. I don't hear him either. Now I hear him. There he is. if it's gasket or surface. You do not want to have to go to a machine shop. Rough cross cut. So that here. Pretty rusty. look at it from this way it's all nice and shiny all the way through there but when you look at it this way uh, it's shiny it's not shiny from there to there so that's still gasket material in there yes I'm fully aware that machining it is the only real way to take care of it but just what part of redneck do you not understand you think the farmers back in the day went to the machine shop no There we go. Smoothing. So theorizing that my file is flat and my pressure is even, making scratches this way and scratches this way. So where I can see just about the same amount of scratches in both directions, I'm calling it good. So it looks a little bit high right here. So I'm going to take a few more passes across that. And this direction. See if I can knock that down and then come back across this way and see if it's still high. It's going to have to be close enough. Oh, that's right. I didn't get bolts. And we'll never seize those. First, I want to see if I get any rocking and flopping on my mating surfaces. Yes, I have rocking with the flopping in the center. And I've got, I've got rocking on these diagonals, which means these are high. And it feels like it's high in the center, right there. Of course, it would have helped if I cleaned off all the crud. Contact here. 
you know, what I really need here is a thick, flat piece of steel. Something about that wide by that wide. Now, I could cut a section out of that. Take it over to Tony, have him machine it flat. Because that's the only thing I got around here. Or, I could make a phone call. rockings might leave the impression. In lieu of that, I think I will take construction paper, which will compress, and set the plate on here. Give it a good rocking. And theoretically, it should leave an impression of the high spot. Which appears to be not very good construction paper. Appears to be here. Still rocking. And it is to take a less sharpie. taking the sharpie off of all the high spots. Shows one here, but that's not. Did I mention this was hard ox? Shiny here. The shiny spot here. That's rocking diagonally the most. A little high right there. Looks like all the corners are high. Next step. So using this here super duper flat plate and this here super thin feeler gauge. Oh, I think there's a one hanging on, hiding out behind there. So I have renewed my Sharpie. This is a 600 grit flat plate. square plate indicates that it's higher on these two corners than these two corners this would be correct I know this area is a little bit low I'm going to shave a little see this doesn't indicate that that's low there it indicates that it's high there hi there indicates that it's high here I'm going from here to here. And it indicates that it's high here when going from here to here. What does it all mean? And this is totally unscathed, so this would be the area of my leak, should I happen to have one. So since it shows this is high, and this is low, and that's going to be an area of a leak, I think I'll do a little bit of this way and a little bit of that way. Miss Hathaway. this in both directions. Unlike a file which works in one direction. So I've got my little little spot right there still. A little bit of rock here. Which is still this corner. I'm 
calling that good. Oh, now I gotta do the one under the hood. Feeler gauge says, mm, I don't think so. That's one and a half thousandths. No way. That says corner. Oh, corner's way high. So I hurt my back the other day. Now I've got to try to lean over and do exhaust manifold work. Oh, yes. Why? Well, shows it clearly. As it does there as well. Uh, yep. Probably just go ahead and knock this down so I can get to this surface. Now we're getting into here now. Get a little into there. Now, let's see what it gave us. A low here. Oh, oh. I'm calling that acceptable. At least I was gonna. Well, it's a whole lot more better than what we had before. What? Oh, well, that makes a difference. Yes. Got no way to test that one. Yes! This is really good for your back. I'm going to say that's acceptable. Gasket crush will take care of that. Ah. <sighs> All right, now it all comes back apart again. These gaskets come off, which I might have should have taken it off, and then I could have just done this. But, bolt everything up. Well, put the gasket in between here. Get these bolts in, bolt it up to the head. Once it's bolted to the head, make sure that there's not a gap in the exhaust manifold once the intake is tight to the head. And torque down the manifold connecting bolts and then pull it off and put the gaskets back on which I'll do tomorrow but for you it's in three two that's not going to help any dating sites again. But you know, that was not a nice question. I thought we were French. I thought you were supposed to tell me to just go home. Too late. Just go home then. And answer that question when you're driving home. What question is that? <laughs> oh, what I owe you? <laughs> You're supposed to just go like that. Oh, okay, well. Alright. Take two. I'll try. Okay. You I thought I thought I did. You went like this. Oh. Uh, I didn't know what that meant. Oh. What does that mean? Talk to him. <laughs> no, just give me that. Alright. Okay. Let's try two. And then you just then you say, Go! Home! Did you hear me say that you were looking at your Okay. I didn't know if you could hear me or not. Yeah. Take two. It's not that bad today. Alright. Which I just 
remove some debris. Oh! <coughs> oh, the joy, our peak. The joy. Yeah, nicely. You're welcome. What are you? Go home. You're supposed to tell me to go home after I say he's looking at his dating sites. <laughs> Alright, take three. And action! <laughs> I'm laughing now, I can't do it! This just has to be in the way, doesn't it? Just has to. You got your hand on it, don't put your hand on it. Take four! <laughs> Doesn't fit. It's just lovely. Wow, I feel pretty good. Well now. What are you? Destroy your Go. Damn <laughs> What what other let's go over this again. After you say what I owe you, then what? Go like that? Just go like that. Like, get out of here. Don't say it, just... Because you're engrossed in here. You don't want to talk. Go ahead, kid. I'll, I'll try. Take five. It's a good thing it's a digital camera. Yeah. So I hurt my back the other day. Now I've got to try to lean over and do exhaust manifold work. Ugh. Ugh. Perfect. He's all engrossed at looking at his dating sites. Ain't you? You're one girl. <laughs> You're supposed to tell me to go home! <laughs> Acting's a pain, ain't it? You got the script now? Are you, are you with the script? I'm, I'm glad I'm not a movie star. <laughs> Aren't we I'll all? never make it. <laughs> so put that in somewhere. He's all absorbed in his dating site. This is where he tells me to go home. Go home. Don't they have enough problems? You gotta be Professor Grumpany. Go home! Go home! Now try it, come on. Go home! Go home! That's what I want. Start adding in and slice it together. I'm done. Last one. Come on, last one. Alright. 